Welcome back. Now, in this episode, you're going to create relationship between the tables. That is the user table, the role user, and the role table. But first, let's configure our database and make sure that we're connected to a database. So on the .env file, we just need a few items like the database name, username, and password. So let's go to the PHP my admin and create a database. So here I'm going to call my database as many to many. So it's a good practice to always give or name of a, uh, a database a name that relates to the project you're doing. So create. So database has been created. So let's make sure we have it on the .env file. So many to many and save. So db username, I'm using root, db password, I don't have any. So I'm just going to leave it as blank. So here we have the user table, which is already created for us. So the user table is already created. So we are going to create the role table and the role user. So let's first create the roles. So on the terminal. PHP at Sunmake model. So we're going to create a migration file and a model at once. So make model and then the name of the model is role. And flag it with dash M so that it creates two files. So model created successfully. So first let's add a column on the roles table which will store the names of the roles. So this one will be a string. Name. Save. So the what you're going to do is you're going to migrate these two tables, that is the raw table and the user table, because the pivot table will have the ID of these two tables. So on the terminal, PHP at sun migrate. So migrated, let's see from the database. So as you can see, we have the failed jobs, roles, and the users. So now let's create the role user. And then so it will be role underscore user like that. So the migration table has been created. Let's see from the database table. So here we have that role user. So now this pivot table we reference ID from those two tables. So, so this one will be So one signed big integer.
so user id so let's duplicate this one for the role id And then the foreign user ID. So this one will reference the ID on the user table. So here you can also say on delete, cascade, or restrict. So on delete, do what? Cascade. Then you're going also to duplicate this one for the roles, role ID. And then references ID on the role table. So save everything and let's migrate this file. So table migrated. Let's see from the PHP admin. I'm going to refresh. And there you can see we have this role user browse. So if you try to insert something, here you'll see on the user ID, you can browse foreign values. Also for the role ID, browse foreign values. So everything is fine, working fine. Now in the next episode, you're going to create relationship between the models.